Yeah. You, you didn't think that was me, did you? Riders ready. Watch the game. BMX, one of hands down the scariest disciplines of cycling. Violent, ferocious, fast, and bloody terrifying. Oh, and my next challenge. So I made it here to Bristol, which is in the southwest of England, to a BMX track. Yep, BMX just doesn't fill me with any sort of confidence. I mean, the starting ramp is very steep. The jumps are very big. The bike is very small. The wheels are small, no suspension and one brake. It all really began in the United States in the 1970s and kids were getting inspired by their motocross stars and decided to grab a bike and hit the dirt. And I guess kids were really buying into the lifestyle that freestyle BMX and racing BMX offered. 1993 is where the UCI integrated BMX. 10 years later, in 2003, the International Olympic Committee made it a full medal Olympic sport. So yes, BMX does have some heritage and it's always been in my interest to give it a go. Give a discipline that I've always been quite fearful of and well, put pedal to the metal. So you didn't think I was gonna get let loose on that track on my own, did you? Well, no, I've drafted in some support. And that support is Trey White. <laughs> Starting at the age of nine, Trey White has risen the ranks of BMX, becoming British national BMX champion in 2016. Also claiming bronze medal at the BMX World Championships in 2014. So yes, Trey is a man with all the credentials and a perfect candidate to put me through my paces. Trey, how's nice it going? Good mate, how are you? Uh, nervous, Yeah. really nervous. I mean, there's big jumps there, there's small jumps there, there's steep ramps, small bikes. It's terrifying this. Mate, I wouldn't be too worried. I'm here, I'm looking out for you. I reckon you got it in the bag. Right, fingers crossed, mate. We better not just talk about it. We better just get straight to the point. We've just got to get suited and booted, don't Let's we? Let's get a crack in, mate. Let's go, mate. Let's get a crack in. Oh, Trey. It's a bit nerve-wracking, this. I'm not surprised, mate. I'm all set. You all set? Yeah. I think you're going to have to take over again. Why? Mate, you've got your, you got your elbows out. Elbows out. You've got your knees out. Knees out. Your legs are probably shaven. Yeah. You're in the wrong place, mate. Really? Yeah. Bit it's aerodynamics. Yeah, you don't need that on a bike. Oh. Not on this bike. You're gonna have to go and get changed, honestly. Alright, what's what, one more? Luckily, Blake sorted me right out from GMBN because GCN doesn't come in uh, baggies. What no. do you make of that? You're looking more apart, mate. Don't worry about it. We're gonna blend in. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be able to see you if you're going that quick. Right, ready? I'm ready to go, mate. Yeah, I think this is the final bit. Oh. Bit to the puzzle. Uh, full face helmet. Gonna need that. It's gonna be needed, trust me. Right, guys. We're all set. Yeah? Let's go. You reckon? Yeah. Now we're set. Now we're set. What are the kind of first basics that I need just to get around the track? So the basics, so we first start off, obviously we start with the gate, but today we're not using the gate. So three basics I want to talk you through is, first of all, when we're going down the track, I need your pedals level at all times. If you're not pedaling and you're going over the jumps, your pedals need to stay level, just so your pedal don't hit it and you don't go over the handlebars. Second, when you're going around, one finger covering the brake, just to, to maintain your speed. And then third is a basic move we call pumping. When you're going up the jump, your arms and your legs compressing at the same time. Yeah. And that basically keeps your wheels on the ground. Yeah, I'm pretty good at pumping. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. I reckon helmet on, roll down. Let's get it done. Right, fingers crossed. I've never, ever been on a BMX track. This is the first time ever. I reckon you got it, mate. See how we get it. <laughs> Just to show you how confident GCN are in my ability of riding a BMX track, well, luckily, well, Killian's over there. He's our paramedic. Fingers crossed. I don't need him on this lap. Hardest bit, BMX. Getting my feet in the pedals. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. 
I'm in. Bit of a breather. Time out. How do you get out of it? There we go. Told you that's time. I forgot I was for a break, I can't balance I told you it. This one's a tie. <laughs> you might want to start leaning there so you can clip in both feet first. Ah, okay. Do you know what I mean? You got it? The saddle's so low. <laughs> we don't use that at all. <laughs> we don't, we don't <laughs> sit down, we don't sit down. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. Now. Right, you remember the steps? Pedals level. Pedals level. Finger over brake. This is going to be okay. an absolute revelation if I don't crash this lap. You got it, mate. Right. Take it all nice right. and easy, Take nice and easy. easy. Here we go, drop it in! I'm over the first He's one got it, and look. the second. He's doing all right. He looks like a natural, he's pumping well. He's getting pedals in at right. Oh, he's picking up a bit of speed here. Oh, he's going to be knackered by the time he gets to the finish line, I'm telling you. That's what we've got. Third straight. The wall even came off the ground. Nice work. Legs are tired. Finishing straight. Can hit these pretty hard now. Whoa. Here we go. Building some momentum. Yeah, oh. nice one. Oh. 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 It's like nothing I've ever done before because, well, it's so unnatural. I'm on a small bike and you're using your whole upper body. I'm used to kind of focusing all that energy into leg speed and power. So slightly different to a road bike, this is a race BMX bike. And Trey, you're going to talk us through it, aren't you? Yeah, so basically, what well, we have the wheels. These are 20 inch wheels. Frame, 21.75. Obviously we have one brake. This is a disc brake, not all BMXs have a disc brake, but obviously BMX racing, you only have one back brake. My gear, single speed, obviously we've got a 44 at the front and a 16 at the back. And some, sim some similarities, we've got the forks, carbon forks, carbon rims, tie spokes. Yeah, slightly used to what I'm riding. <laughs> I guess that's why it feels so agile when it's under you, because it's just so small. You've got those small wheels and it just turns on a dime. So I guess we should stop looking at it and uh, let's go riding there. You Sounds ready? good to me. With some more pointers from Trey, I headed for some extra practice laps before we have the big one, the race. Me versus Trey. So, whilst Hank is going around the track, practicing, getting his groove on, just saying that this track, for me personally, is so weird being back here. This was the last stop of my first ever national series when I was 11 years old and there was eight guys and the girl actually was racing the girl called Abby Taylor and whoever won here took over the national title. Um, I got second, but it's just a great, it's just a great place, a great track. BMX is so good for young kids to get involved in. I mean, like the track is, the track's closed off. So, you know, you're not out riding on the road. Um, the bikes are fairly cheap. You can get a, a good race bike, four or 500 pound and um, get the kids into it. And weekends, if it's nice, I used to camp, me as a family, there was four or five of us, um, and we used to camp on weekends. Everyone's racing, barbecues, everything. So if anyone was ever looking to get into BMX, there's loads of little clubs around England, for example, like this one, which, and I know for the, my home club, we, the guys offer bikes and helmets, and we have qualified coaches. And of course, it's sport, and it is a bit dangerous, but, <laughs> Look at like, you learn, you learn to jump and we say like fly through the air. So, you know, like it's, I would say it's worth the risk <laughs> and, and, and hopefully have fun and that'll be worth it. So I just gave my breath back. It's super hard work that. I mean, you make it, I'm not, I'm not even just saying this, but you make it look easy to, for the first time, honestly. Plus endurance, I've never seen someone just keep going round and round and round. <laughs> I guess that's where road cycling really does come in hand in hand, I guess. It's a, it's a little bit of crossover when it comes to the fitness side of things. Of course. But when it comes to BMX, I guess it's all about commitment and confidence in yourself, isn't it? Yeah, mental. And the main thing is it's like a strong power of that. Like, the main thing we focus on is the gate, so like the strength and the strong burst of power. But 
endurance wise, you're smashing. You know is, I mean? is that why you, you see a lot of crossover between the sprinters and BMX? Yeah. Because it's all about that burst power. Like a lot of us sometimes in the winter we train on the on the velodrome track sometimes, just sprinting just raw power and try and bring it from there onto our bike, bigger gears. But obviously we need to spin as well. So there's a lot to it, but it's just the raw power and the gate is the most important. Well, a lot of people say gate's most important. So what kind of power are you putting out on um, the start? Depending on who you are, but I'm over 2,000 watts. 2,000 watts, mate. Yeah. I've only got 1,200 in the locker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to be coming anywhere close to you guys. So we've done a few laps. I've had a few basics drilled into me. I've managed to get clipped in, although it's taken a while. So I thought, well, now's the time to do a time lap, just to show you what a very novice beginner can do and what a professional can do. Yeah, I'm not expecting to win this. I hope you guys realise that, but I thought it'd be fun anyway. Right, Trey, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go, let's go. Oh! <laughs> I think you won. Three, two, one, pop. He's off the line. Pop, 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 pop. Laddie hell. Holy moly, flying. Me. 15 seconds. You're flying. Oh. Oh, clean it. And again. He's on the hook straight. He's coming. Up, 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 up. Oh. Trey White, that was formidable. That was unreal. I mean, you looked. Pretty good there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, and your time was 35 seconds. I'll take it. 35 seconds? I'll take that. That was outrageous. Right, my turn. Give us your bike. It's all yours, mate. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> this is it. Give me a heads up, mate. Any words of wisdom before I drop in? Yeah. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Is that it? Pedal to the finish line. Just keep smiling. Keep smiling. Focus on your lines in the turn. This is the big event, mate. This is for all the roadies watching at home. This is for this all is what your your roadies out has there. Led to. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, mate. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's a slow start. It's a slow start. He's, got He's got gaining going. some speed. He's got some good speed there. Nice. He's over the first jump. Pumping. Nice and controlled. What lines are you going to take in the turn? Pick it up speed Still now. the middle of the turn. Pump it away. Oh, he's got some slide on there. Pedal now, pedal, 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 pedal. Home straight. Ah! I went for the faster line, which is obviously not to jump. Yeah, just pumping, just nice and safe. Yeah. Out of choice. How did it look? It looked good. You, you did a little jump there. Oh. That's not my helmet. I mean, <laughs> at least this is the only time it's hitting the floor yeah. today. I'll take oh. that. What was my time, mate? So, what do you reckon? So, you did a 35 seconds. I reckon I did a. Let's say another 20 seconds. Nah, 45 seconds? Yeah? That's not too bad. That's sweet, mate. 10 seconds 45 off. 45 seconds, 10 seconds off. Mate. Good work. So as a uh, roadie coming into BMX, have you seen any roadies turn into BMX or BMX turn into roadies? So honestly, I've not seen anyone go from roadie or like velodrome to BMX, but we got quite a few famous cyclists that have done the transition. So I know of Chris Hoy used to race when he was young, only young, I think like six, seven. He used to race BMX. Um, Jamie Staff, he definitely used to race BMX, like um, big in the scene. Seen him, me personally, I've seen him race national. I've not seen him race big events, but he was a big BMX racer. And I think one of the biggest is Sinead Reed, you know, multiple world champion in BMX and have transferred to um, Velodrome and got um, world Championships as well. I think just the basic fundamentals of riding a bike, as you said, it's so small, agile, 
I think if you could pick up the skills and throw that back about, when you get bigger wheels, a bit more easy control, um, you can get away with a little bit more. I feel like it's just a good basic fundamental to start and then, and then go on to any cycling sport, really. Yeah, so I guess it just shows, you know, those British sprinters that have gone to do great things in the Olympics have got their skill set from a track like this. I mean, I've got a long way to go before I get on the track and win an Olympic medal. Probably never, but it does just show you that all these skills you learn, you pick up from different cycling disciplines can, can take you further on the discipline you choose to do. Of course, no, for sure. Guys, I managed to complete a course on a BMX bike, something I never thought I'd be able to do. Absolutely loved it. Trey, thank you so much, man. It must be your instruction and uh, your guidance that helped me get around without breaking anything. You had it easy, mate, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Speaking from all BMXers, I was quite proud of you. You did yourself well today. Yeah. Controlled. Mate, you, you didn't hit the floor. You oh, did, mate. And your wheels came off the ground, I so it's a plus. A plus. Yeah, it's yeah. a big plus, it's a big plus. If you guys wanna see me try something out, maybe another cycling discipline, then let me know in that comment section below. Guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, and maybe I might be able to get Trey in some Lycra on a road race. Yeah, mm. get him out of his comfort zone, hey guys. Yeah, I'm not too sure about what? that one, mate. Honestly, I'm not too sure nah? about that. Nah, I'll, give that one a miss. I'll work on it, I'll work on it. What a day, mate. Thanks for having me. Yes, completed.